What's up, y'all? It's your boy, just so you know, Dom. And if I did my SEO correctly on YouTube, then you've been brought here because you need help setting up your Casa TP Link. T TP-Link Smart Wi-Fi Plug Mini. Um, a lot of you guys haven't been able to set it up properly and make it work with Alexa. However, I figured it out. Mm -hmm. Went ahead and troubleshooted it myself. Um, took me a minute, but I did it. So uh, what I wanna do is I wanna share it with you all so you can set yours up as well. If you don't have one already, um, the link will be in the description so you can you know, purchase one as well. All right, let's go for it now. So if I'm pronouncing this whole company name wrong, please forgive me. You guys know what I'm talking about in the first place. I'm going to call it Casa or Casa. Casa. I'm going to stick with Casa. So first step is you need to download the Casa app and register. Second step, you need to make sure that you plug in the device. You want to go to the Amazon Alexa app and, oops, sorry about that. You want to go to skills and games. Then you want to go search for the skill, K-A-S-A, -A. right here, TP-Link Casa, enable to use. You want to link your account, so the email and password that you registered, um, you know, with the Casa Smart app. Log in, hit authorize. It's going to say your TP-Link Casa account has been successfully linked. Close it. Do not hit discover devices. Cancel that. Next, you want to go to the Casa Smart Wi-Fi plug app. Let's see here. Add your device. Device, whatever you have, which I'm sure you probably have the smart plug. So you want to hit smart plugs, smart plug light mini, if this is the one that you have. You It says power up your smart plug, plug in your smart plug. Casa will check your Wi-Fi connection. Hit next. And it says, look at the look at your smart plug. It's the Wi-Fi light blinking orange and green blue. Mine is on my end, so I'm gonna hit next. And then it says connect to your smart plug. Go to your iPhone settings and join your smart plug's Wi-Fi network. Return to Casa to continue setup. So you want to go to your Wi-Fi network into settings. Clicked it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the uh, well, I'm not gonna go back. It said connect to the smart plug. Tap here to go back to Casa app to finish setup. You don't want to go there yet. What you want to do is you want to go to the Amazon Alexa app first, and then you want to go to devices. Top right corner, you're going to see a plus symbol. You want to click that to add a device. And then Casa Smart, you can click the popular brand up there. Um, connect your TP-Link Casa device to Alexa. You want to hit discover devices. So it says Alexa is looking for devices to connect. This may take up to 45 seconds. Um, so pretty much what it's doing is it's trying to look for the device. Um, what have I learned in troubleshooting and trying to figure out, you know, the issue was the Amazon Alexa app needs to pretty much connect to the plug too. Um, somehow, some way, I think that's done in the TP-Link um, smart plug Wi-Fi setting or something like that. Uh, so if this plot pops up, it says the Wi-Fi network TP-Link smart plug 1100 does not appear to be connected to the internet. You could just hit um, use cellular data. Um, so after this, it's probably going to say no devices found, which that is okay. So see, it says no, no, do, uh, no new devices found. So you can close that. And then you want to go back and finish the setup through the Casa app. So it says connecting the smart plug. This might take a few minutes. Choose your network. We're gonna choose a network, your home network or wherever you're trying to set your device up at. Hit join once you enter your password. Now it's connecting. It says it's gonna take a few minutes. It shouldn't take minutes at all, actually. I think it takes only a few seconds. So it's connecting. And now it's popped up. It said Amazon Alexa, your TP-Link smart plug 1100 is connected. So it's pretty much telling me a new device has been discovered in my Alexa app. So I'm going to type in my device name. Uh, mine's going to be in living room. So I'm going to type in living, living room lamp. Save it. 
click your icon, save, congratulations, you've configured your smart plug and it's ready for use in your device list. Sounds good. Great. So I could test it out. I could turn it on here. It came right on. And I'm going to text it out and finish the setup in Amazon Alexa, the Amazon Alexa app. So if I go to devices at the bottom, that little tab at the bottom, it says one plug discovered view. Um, that plug is going to be the one that you just, you know, set up. So I'm going to click living room lamp. And I could test it here. I could just click the little um, on and off button here for the power. And it works. Um, but for me, um, since it is a light, I want mine to be under like the light group or light category in the Amazon Alexa app. So when I tell her to turn off all the lights, she will include this. So you want to hit the little cog at the top right um, for settings. And then you want to click where it says type and it says plug. So you can keep it plug, which is the original type where it's checked, or you can put it as a light, which I'm going to do. And then go back, go back. And now once I go to lights, it's going to tell me all the lights that I have in the house. So one more thing I want to add, because um, some people still haven't been able to turn the lights on and off or whatever using um, their devices, their Alexa devices. Um, pretty much what you want to do is you want to start a group. So for an example, if I have my light in the living room, then I want to start a group called living room. So then when you tell her to turn off the lights, she's going to ask which room you say living room and then she's going to remember that so next time you say turn off the like the living room lamp she would does she would do that or whatever you have it titled at so to start a group all you want to do is just go to what do you want to go to the little plus sign at the top right and then hit add group and then you can click on like some of the common names that she already have so like living room um hit next and then you want to add the devices to your living room. So, for example, the light that I just set up using the Casa plug would be living room lamp. And then hit save. And now she knows that, you know, to turn off that, that light or whatever. If I say turn off the lights in the living room and just hit done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, make sure that you do subscribe and that you can stay updated on all this fire content that I'm going to be bringing here on my YouTube channel. Make sure you do share it with someone else too. So, you know, they can gain something just as you have gained something from this video. All right, y'all. Stay safe out there.